So this is uh, one of my more traditional landscape paintings. I really lean towards the Impressionist school when it comes to landscapes. Loose outline, nothing really set in stone. I don't even care about details necessarily. Just the general idea of what you're looking at is what's important. But it's the colors, you know. As I said, tone does the work, color gets the credit. So in Impressionist painting, that's the point. We're gonna lay down what I guess you could call it an underpainting. It's the base painting. How about that? We're going to mix terms here. And I'm just kind of getting a rough idea of colors and tone. That's all. I don't need it to be detailed. I'm going to change it. There's going to be detail. So we're done with session one. We've got some base detail. We've got some tonal elements going on. It's a rough idea. It'll set the stage for the rest of the painting. In session two, we're going to start to refine colors. Make things pop, start to bring in finished elements on certain components. This is kind of the mid-range of what's happening. Kind of secure the tone a little bit more, set the mood, refine colors, add some details. Again, sunsets are one of those things, why Monet painted many at a time is because the light changes every few seconds. It's hard to capture on a surface because it's dynamic and it changes. Now we're into the detail element. We're going to pull in some hard details, some more refined details, change the focus, immerse the viewer. I didn't have any real, you know, references for this, so mostly it's out of my head. And bring in some clouds right above the water. Refine some of the clouds in the sky. And here we are. Impressionist painting, Franconia Notch, New Hampshire, late summer sunset on cradled panel. That was fun. Thanks for looking.